Hey y'all. Well, so it is so hot and humid today. My hair looks like I've been stuck my finger into a light socket. I know. So anyway, with that heat and that humidity come the summer squashes and they come and they go and they go and they go and they go. So you're going to find a lot of summer squashes and zucchini in that farm box from the farm. So today I thought it would be fun to kind of um, show you how to use some of that summer squash zucchini, or zucchini and some of those peppers that you also have. So today we're going to do this kind of really quick um, squash and pepper and onion um, saute and then I'm going to kick it up at the end with a couple of other things that uh, will turn it really into a gorgeous plated dish and something that your kids may, may eat if you don't tell them about the squash. Anyway, so let's get started. Ah, oh, summer squash. Okay, I know. It, uh, it is very prolific. I do know that. So anyway, I just went out and got a couple of squashes out of the field and gave them a good wash so we have some beautiful red and orange they're kind of a jewel pepper and some banana peppers and just an onion half of an onion so the first thing we want to do of course in the skillet so if you guys have not went and downloaded the master series the six essential tools for the csa please do because it explains to you about this big skillet this 12 inch skillet and uh, all the other things that will make your csa life so much better. So anyway, so a little bit of olive oil, good olive oil, in the pan. And you're gonna let this pan heat up. Now listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm working with this little eye up here at the pavilion and it doesn't wanna get very hot, that's for sure. Speaking of hot, hey listen, when you have hair, long hair in this humidity, you, you best be carrying a clippy in your back pocket. That's, that's, that's my go-to. The clippy in the back pocket. That's right. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prep my onion because the first thing that we're gonna go in is the onion. So just unpeel it. Here, just any old onion will do. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see if you can see. So I'm gonna go three cuts across like this, my onion. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna just kind of cut more than halfway through going down the onion. And then that's gonna be my dice. I'm feeling so chefy. All right. And then that last piece, this, this guy right here, he never wants to cut. So I'm just kind of chopping up, dicing up this onion. So it goes the onion into my, my nice hot pan. You hear that? Sizzle. That is what you really want to hear. Whenever you are sauteing something, you want to hear that sizzle as soon as something hits that pan, especially onions and squash too, because believe it or not, squash and zucchini, what you can remember about them is they like it hot. I mean, they like that hot oil. So go ahead and just give them a nice little turn. Let's start working on our peppers. So these little jewel peppers have some seeds on the inside. Just run your knife right in there, just like that. If I had a sink, I'd rinse them out, but I don't. I'm limited. I'm working limited. So knock those seeds out, and then I'm just gonna just give them a cut. Big deal. So, just like that. You know, I, I'm sorry, but I don't know how you could possibly go wrong with any any recipe that has peppers, onion, and garlic. I mean, that's just the basic stuff. 
that makes life so flavorful. So I'm gonna grab my little banana pepper. And a little banana pepper, same thing. You're just gonna go run your little knife, run the knife inside and just kind of clear out that membrane that holds those seeds. Just like that. And then just give it a try. No big deal. Yellow. Yay, some color. That's the thing. After, you know, after, um, especially May and the first of June when you, you have a lot of greens and um, in your farm box and you have, you're, you've got a lot of salad stuff. When you start seeing those colors come in, when those color broccolis come in or cauliflower or, you know, peppers, those carrots come on, it's like beta carotene has arrived on the farm and I don't know why but it's just your dishes get just you know get so colorful and beautiful all right so we're chopped up here just take your peppers throw them in the pan just like that and just kind of get them nice and covered with oil so Dadgummit, every time I film something, I forget something down at the house. And you know what I forgot this time is my tongs. How am I supposed to cook without my utensils? Well, I'll, I'm gonna pause, I'll be right back. Necessity. All right. <laughs> okay, so. Now I have some equipment to work with. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to dice up our squash. Now, I'm not really gonna dice it because the thing about right now, these squash are really young and tender. I am gonna kind of cube it. Um, but if you've got bigger squash, like I always do because they hide, they're, they're stealthy and they hide under everything. So now it's gonna rain on us. So I'm just gonna give them a cube. I'm kind of just, kind of medium thick. Toss them right in there. Just like that. And again, zucchini, you could even add some broccoli in here and make it really interesting. I think that would be a really neat. And then just let them cook. Okay, it's raining. That's not, it's no big deal. Hey. been cooking our squash this takes about 15 minutes with this eye that I have up here at the pavilion it takes about five hours <laughs> it just doesn't have any power but it takes about 10 15 minutes to cook all of this down I told you we were gonna kick it up so a little bit of salt now I'm a southerner so we overuse the salt by a lot um, I put my mom on what's called 50% salt so it's 50 50 she doesn't know, shh, don't tell her, because she is the one who got me using too much salt. As little kids, we always, we salted everything, everything. So, we've got salt, we've added pepper, we're gonna add some herbs. Now, in your farm box, you guys get a lot of herbs, and there's so many of them. Sometimes I'll put them in for you, and sometimes I'll just tell you to go cut them yourselves. Right now, it is, basils basils 
you've got dill, you've got oregano, you've got parsley, you've got a lot of herbs. So what I do is I dry a lot of herbs, and you can too. It's so simple, you just literally lay them out, put them on a cookie sheet, and stick them in your oven. And you can, you can put your oven on the lowest setting, and then turn it off and wait for an hour and then stick that in there and let them dry. So, and then you can mix them together. My mix is basil, I've got some rosemary and I've got some oregano in here and a little bit of parsley. And um, then we ground up our own um, uh, garlic powder and a little bit of salt. And that's my go-to herb mixture. Herbs that you get, dried herbs that you get in the grocery store, I don't know if you know this or not, I didn't. Um, they, the, you know, at an, a year is, it, is where they're at their, their best as far as flavors go. After a year, they lose their potencies and they're no good and you're supposed to throw them away. So when you can make them yourself, they'll last a lot longer and they're fresh. You don't know where those come from and how long those are. Psh, get on out of here, get that out of here. Anyway, so, I told you I was gonna kick this up. We are, so I'm going to use feta cheese. Now, if you've never had feta, feta is sheep cheese. It's kind of, it's a pretty bold cheese as far as taste. And in this dish in particular, it will cut through those, the flavors of the onions and the peppers and the garlic and the squash, and it will hold its own. And it's such a great addition to this dish. And not only that, it will hold its shape as well, and it looks beautiful. So, um, like I said, feta is a sheep cheese. You can use any cheese you want. Um, I wouldn't go with a cheese like mozzarella or any of those melty kind of cheeses because you don't want like a melted cheese on this. You just want a cheese that just kind of adds a little bit of, of buzz, pizzazz. You don't want to cover it up. So, that's what I'm going with feta. Now, if you like goat cheese, you're, use goat cheese. I mean, we're just using a little bit here, so you can use goat cheese. I don't like goat cheese. This is not tangy. Feta cheese is actually really bold, but it's not like really tangy like a goat cheese, but some people love goat cheese, and if you do, by all means, use it. So we're gonna plate this up, and I'm going to add some chives and kind of decorate it a little bit, but we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how this dish looks plated. It's delicious. Okay, here she is. This is a sauteed squash, just your summer squash, with onions and your sweet, colorful peppers, garlic, and a little bit of feta cheese, some herbs. Let's put a, just a little bit more. Just went out there and got some chives, cut some chives. This is garlic chives. Let's go ahead and maybe spread a little garlic chives on them. And then you could always even dress this up even more. I mean, look, here's me a garlic, garlic chive flour and a little bit, of, little bit of purple basil. And you have art. Yeah, that's right. Art, art from your farm box. Yep, that's what it is. Anyway, if you guys want this recipe, then just click on the link below and I will make sure that you get it. And thank you so much for hanging with me during the storm and all of my uh, technical difficulties with this, <laughs> this, this whole cooking part of it. But I, I just want to make sure that you guys enjoy your farm box and that you can have a toolbox of recipes to, full, to, to kind of pull from and know how to use them because we really, um, we love y'all and we want to make sure that you, uh, you use up your farm box. So thank y'all.